All right, it's great to be here today. Uh, we're thankful for those of you who have joined us on Zoom. Uh, we're here joined with our men's soccer team, uh, who recently just found out the news, their new head coach. Uh, we're really excited and anxious to get going with our, our new head coach and the coaching staff. Uh, we are tremendously grateful to, to be uh, introducing our new head coach today. And here, as, as part of the process, when we looked through, when we were looking for a new head coach, uh, you know, we, we have the, the slogan here in UVU Athletics, that we're champions in the classroom, champions in competition, champions in the community, and champions in life. And when we found our new head coach, uh, we knew exactly that, that he would continue to, to lead the legacy that we've started. We're a young program. Uh, we've amassed a great, great amount of wins in the seven years that we've been competing. And we're in a place now where we're going to take it to the next level with this new head coach. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you your new head coach, Kyle Beckerman. Uh, Swear my give them this little, yep, little jersey here. Okay. Well, uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, President Timenez and Dr. Jared Summerson for believing in me and giving me this opportunity to take over the men's soccer team. I'm really excited to be here today. Uh, it was going to go. It was going to take something really special for me to get out of retirement and take a job, and it was definitely unexpected. But when I learned about the position, about the college, spoke more with President Tumenez and Jared, I realized that this was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. This program was young, but already has solid footing and a great support both from the school and the athletic de department and the fans. And I'm looking forward to building on that foundation and taking it to the next level. As a player, the, one of the most rewarding things, part of my job was helping and mentoring young players and seeing them grow. And I'm excited now to take that as a full-time job. I'm extremely excited to get started and I, I want to thank again to President Tumenez and Jared for this unbelievable opportunity. Got hey, if anybody has any questions, Sean Walker is in attendance. Sean, do you have any questions? Do you want to start out? Yeah, Kyle, you, you, you just mentioned that this was an opportunity that you can't really, that you couldn't really pass up. I mean, what what is it specifically about kind of this university and this location? I mean, this is somewhere, you're, you're from Maryland, you've played all those years before coming to RSL. Um, with the other team on the other side of the Rockies that I don't think we're allowed to say in this state. Um, but, but what is it about kind of this university and just Utah being home that made you want to take this leap, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I love Utah. Uh, my family's we're, we're here. It, we call it, it's our home. And um, just kind of really learning about the university. I, I didn't, I knew a little bit uh, back when they started the program. I was hearing a lot of, um, you know, buzz about the soccer program down here and um, getting the at-large bid and, and right off in the second year and then another excellent year the next year. Um, so I, I'd heard of the school and I knew about it, but I didn't until I really looked into it and, and started to learn about the support and, and the ambition of the university. It, it, just, it just felt like a natural fit. And, um, you know, given the opportunity, it just got me, every time I looked more and more into it, it got me more excited. And so it was a no-brainer. Uh, Tom Hackett will go with you first. Go ahead and unmute and ask your question. Can you hear him? No. Hang on one second, Tom, sorry. Shoot, try now. Try now. Try now. There you go. Al, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you now. Awesome. Uh, well, first and foremost, congratulations. Um, Thanks. And then secondly, I remember vividly shortly after you announced your retirement from, from Real Salt Lake, um, 
you spoke candidly about both your parents being teachers and, and coaching being kind of in your blood, if you will. <clears throat> Pardon me. Was this a reasonably easy decision now that you've had some time to maybe look back on it and, and the process and, and given your family history, you know, have you always wanted to get into coaching? I, I didn't know. I, I felt like it was a natural fit for me because of my parents being teachers and my brother being the wrestling coach at Brown. And I've had, you know, this is my first head coaching job, but I've been coaching training players and, and seeing these young guys grow and trying to pass on the knowledge. So it seemed like a natural kind of um, extension of me playing would to be getting into coaching. Um, it, it feels natural to me. It's something I enjoy seeing players grow and, and get better. And um, so I, I also saw this university as a place where we can win and we can be successful right away. So all those things were really attractive to me and, and the support I was shown um, from the management, it just, um, it was no brainer and, and it just feels right. Uh, Jared, Lloyd. Uh, Jared Lloyd. Congratulations, Kyle. Thanks. I wanted to ask about the challenge of going to the university level, a little bit different than the pro level. Just what, what are your thoughts as, as you deal uh, um, with uh, coaching a, a soccer team at, at the university level? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think right now it's, it's kind of, it's changing. I think soccer in, in America, it's constantly changing. We're trying to, you know, it's, it's speeding up the way our academies and, and younger players get into the professional ranks, uh, kind of getting on the same level as, as Europe. And I think we're finding out that college is another place where you can develop and you can, you know, make your soccer dreams come true. It, you still can go to college. So there's definitely a lot of things I'm going to have to learn. I'm going to have to learn what I don't know right now and, and a lot of administrative stuff and get organized and learn as quick as possible. Um, but I'm going to put my put all the work I did as a soccer player and um, put it into coaching and, and try and get better just like I did every day to try and get better as a player. So I think the, the sky's the limit for this university and for this program. And the biggest thing I'll you know tell these guys is, you know, we've got to make sure our grades are, are correct and, and they're in good place so we can play soccer. And obviously that wouldn't happen in pros. Alex? Alex? Hey Kyle, Alex hey. with the Tribune. Uh, congratulations Thanks. on the new job. Um, obviously, uh, soccer fans, um, not just in Utah, but probably all over the country, have a very good understanding of who Kyle Beckerman's soccer player is. You know, 20 plus years of that. Um, who might Kyle ba Kyle Beckerman, the soccer coach, be? We'll see. I mean, uh, it's going to be. I, I, all I know is the same ways I was successful as a player. I tried to be, be a, a good teammate every day. I tried to improve every day. Try to be one of the hardest worker, working players out on the field, whether that's practice or a game. And uh, those same those same things that I did for as a player will be the same tools and stuff that I use as a coach. And um, you know, I had success as a player using those things, and, and it seems like it goes hand in hand with this university. Anyone else? Anyone else? Tom, go ahead. Now, this may be uh, too soon a question to ask, so I apologize in advance if, if that is the case. But um, what's the go now with, with your staff? Have you, have you had a chance to um, maybe figure out who your assistant coaches are going to be? Is there, is there a possibility that maybe you do now have the a potential to bring somebody in, maybe a, a former teammate of yours, or as of right now, is the staff going to stay the same as it was under Greg Mars? No, uh, it will change a bit, um, but we're I'm working extremely hard to try, try and get the staff finished uh, as quick as possible. Um, I'm hopeful that we can be done here in the next couple days with the final staff. Um, as soon as we 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 get that finalized, we'll let you know. Um, but you know, some teammates, they could be on staff. Alex? Alex? Kyle, I'm a little, I'm a little curious about the, the timeline. Um, you know, you mentioned that it would, it would take something really special for you to come out of retirement and kind of take a job. So, like, when did this opportunity kind of first come on your radar? 
And how long did the process take for you to finally say, you know, this is something that I really want to do? Yeah, it's been about a couple weeks. Um, probably if it was four weeks ago and you told me I'd be doing a press conference in front of you right now, I would have told you you're nuts. But so things went pretty fast. And um, so I had to do some learning really quick. And the more and more I learned, it, it just got me more excited for the opportunity. So it was probably a, a three, three, or three and a half week process. Jared? Jared? What do you feel like you know about the team that you currently have, Kyle? Well, I've been watching just uh, uh, their last three games. So I got a lot more to research on the team. I've got to go through a lot of their games from this year, last year. But um, it wasn't the most positive results, but I saw a lot of positive things in this group. I saw a lot of fight, saw a lot of bravery. I saw no quit in their play. And I saw some, some technical stuff that is uh, at a high level. I think they know the modern game already. Um, and so I'm just going to try and take it up a notch and um, use some resources here that I would have liked as a player. And everything I wanted as a player, I'm going to try and give to these guys um, in, in any way to help them. Tom? Tom? Kyle, uh, I have a few quick questions for you. Um, who, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite manager um, now that you are one? Is there anybody that you kind of look at and you go, "Man, they they go about their gig pretty well, and, and their team just happens to win a lot of games as well." Is there anybody you idolize? Yeah, I, I would say I think Pep Guardiola is uh, a coach I look to uh, and admire a lot. Um, this his style of play the consistency that they're able to attain, it's really amazing. I mean, over, and he's able to do it at these different teams and bring his style. Um, so I would say he's, he's somebody I look up to as a coach for sure. And so a quick follow up to that um, would be in an ideal world that I understand there's, there's a thousand pieces to this puzzle, you know, including personnel and, and the sort of players that you currently have on your roster and what have you. but. You know, is the tick attack style of football the sort of football in an ideal world you would have you be you playing? Maybe if it's not this year, but in a handful of years down the road, if you still if you still with the team, possession based football, lots of passing type of thing. Well, I, of course we're going to try and play pretty soccer. We're going to try and get the ball on the ground. We want to you know pass from back to front and score goals. But I'm also going to prepare this team to be a team that understands when that's not on and. They're, they have no problem rolling up their sleeves and just getting to fight and, and really battle for the game when it's not going to be the prettiest. So I'm gonna, I really feel like, of course, we want to try and play at all times, but there's going to be times where it's just going to be about our will and just about feeling the game and, and making sure we're, we, we're doing stuff to help us compete. Because if, we, if we're not passing well in a game, then we probably shouldn't keep passing or we're going to get in trouble. So we're going to have to... We're going to be, we're going to be uh, versatile as a team, but um, one that has different styles, but one we're going to know who we are. And um, so as soon as we can get to work, we're going to work on that. And hopefully we show you signs of at times in the game we are looking like a Man City and, and at times we're looking like an Atletico Madrid. And we're going to just, whatever the game presents itself, we're going to be ready for it. Thanks, Kyle. Best of luck. Thanks.